when you talk about risk, I know one of the things that you preach is to test and not guess. Right. Talk about what we should be looking for, what those tests are, and what we need to know from those. Yeah, probably the simplest approach is now actually on a calculator that's online for free on the internet. Um, nothing that I'm involved with either from a research standpoint or a financial standpoint. I don't think there is a business model. But you can go to a website called www.astrocharm.org, A-S-T-R-O-C-H-A-R-M.org. It's a collaboration that came out about six months ago from NASA, actually, and the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center, where actually long ago I did my cardiology training in Dallas. And they had a database of more than the average parameters checked. They took a large population of people, they had calcium CT heart scans, test not guess. In my town right now for $75 in Detroit, sometimes $50 with a prescription usually from a physician, you're 45 or 50, you can go lie down for 15 seconds and get a number out of a CT scan. Zero score, wonderful, 100 score, related to your age, not so wonderful, thousand score, very concerning and prognostically very adverse. So in this astrocharm.org is your coronary artery calcium score. It's your age, the database is 65 and under, so it doesn't quite work perfectly if you're 75. Uh, your blood pressure, are you treated for blood pressure, diabetes? Do you have a family member with an early heart attack? Finally, if you have it, and hopefully people are getting this, what is your high sensitivity C-reactive protein and cholesterol in HDL. So we're getting actually calcium score, inflammation, lipids, some other parameters, boom, hit a button, and you get your 10-year risk of your risk of fatal or non-fatal heart attack and your risk of stroke. And the number might be 2.7% over 10 years. It might be 14.9% over 10 years. I mean, that is right now, in my view, the state of the art for general practitioners. But that means they have to start ordering coronary artery calcium scores for $50 to $100 on people at a radiation risk less than or equal to a mammogram and probably done once in your life, it means they have to start ordering high sensitivity C reactive proteins, as most of the other parameters are gonna have. And then they're gonna have to relate it through this application from a pretty large and valid database, all peer reviewed literature and some really good journals, and start counseling people. You know, you're at real low risk and there's almost no prescription drug we have that could possibly lower your 0.7% 10-year risk, so we probably don't need to be talking about statins. Those are usually people with calcium scores of zero and uh, C-reactive proteins that are under one. Or you're at considerable risk, and maybe that 81 milligram aspirin is right for you, and maybe, of course, lifestyle and fitness and sleep and stress and perhaps some supplements or prescription drugs. Mm -hmm.